What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, the Dixie Chopper King, and I just want to give a quick update on Project Dixie Chopper. We're getting things done on the powder coating. We're getting all that situated. Unfortunately, Dixie Chopper was unable to find, you know, the right powder coat color, the silver for my deck. So I've been trying to get, like, the closest thing possible. We contacted the powder coating division of Sherwin-Williams and told them that Dixie Chopper gave us the color Camaro Silver. One of the guys there said that he he has heard of it and that it was more of like a a paint like a spray paint which is which is what it was it was a touch of paint from sherwin williams that dixie chopper sold and the guy there then sent off everything to a different sherwin williams uh distributors to try to see if anybody had matched the color but unfortunately no one had ever matched the color i guess i'm the only one you know restoring a dixie chopper lawnmower but we think we found something close enough it's it's called Argent Silver. We're trying to find, you know, something that was used on, like, older muscle cars, like uh, Chevrolets, Corvettes. Basically, things that were used on those old classic cars and on their rims. I can understand why Dixie Chopper won't have that information. You know, they have been bought out twice. First by Textron, then by the Alamo Group. So it's easy to understand why something, you know, could have gotten lost or maybe is deep down in a file cabinet somewhere. However, there is one thing that I am very certain of. I can't wait to get that Dixie Chopper back up and running. That thing is a beast and it makes sure that I can get the job done fast. As you probably know, push mowing with a self propelled lawnmower isn't that great of an experience. Especially when you come from a line of commercial zero turn mowers that can go up to 13 miles an hour. It definitely takes up more effort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to DixieChopperDistributors.com and I'm going to look for new hardware and have it ordered. It's just easier that way. And that way when I'm done with all the powder coating, I'll slap the deck back together, touch up the frame on the Dixie Chopper, which I will post a video on that. I'll touch up the engine, put some new decals on that. Overall, I'm just going to go over the whole machine and make sure that everything is perfect. When the mower is finally complete, I'll post a video on how to purge your hydro system. That will remove any air from the hydraulic system that could cause major damage and cost you thousands of dollars. And when this mower is done, you bet it's going to be put to use. Woo We're going to test that bad boy. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will keep you posted on this whole project. Adios.